and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and this is my review for Words Bubble Up Like Soda Pop, a new Netflix um, anime film that was released in 2020, but it's now here in for UK audiences and America. But for now, we're just going to jump into this cute little film. Let me know in the comments below, had you heard of this? Do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not yet. I think only 4% of people uh, who watch my content have subscribed. Let's jump in. A meeting and romance starts between two people with communication issues. A boy who wears headphones and uses haiku poems and a shy girl who wears a mask and only does online videos. From the director of Psycho Pass and Your Lies in April, this is a very slow burn film. I feel like if you watch, you've come into this expecting any sort of action, you're not going to get that. Or even any sort of fast pacing, you're not going to get that. This is definitely a slice of life, but my son said it's even slow lower than that. The thing I like to do with my son is the thing that we do together to, to build our relationship and just enjoy watching anime, especially when it comes to new films that we don't know much about. We kind of go into the film with a little bit of excitement expecting, oh, I wonder if this could be really great. We love really deep stories and this is definitely one of those. At the surface, it's the story about these two characters who have a little bit of social issues. One doesn't like loud noises. He speaks in haiku. The other uh, has a social media presence um, but she has issues with her friend's teeth and uh, braces she's shy about that and so they have like social interactions and we have the meet cute which is basically what the film stems its story from the moment that they meet um, and uh, our, uh, we see how the relationship evolves from there the score is something I wanted to talk about first because it's very understated and at first glance or at first hearing it could be like oh this is a really bland score but it works so well. It never overstays its welcome, it never thrusts itself in front of the imagery that is telling the story or the dialogue. I would definitely say watch it in the original language again and watch the subtitles. I watched a, a little segment in the English and I definitely preferred the original language of reading um, the subtitles along with the film. You just get those inflections and those nuances that I mentioned time and time again when I'm talking about anime go for the original if you can handle it if that's a thing you can do the visuals as well are really pleasing to the eye they are these sharp corners um, it's the best way I can describe it uh, in the, the world that you are seeing uh, from the buildings, it's almost like set pieces for artwork, but then the people feel like they're hand drawn. So this there's an amalgamation of art styles that work really well to place you in the zone that you're going, well, that they're going for to kind of show you what it's like to live in this slice of life uh, world. And then on, along the side, there are, of course, these side characters that you feel so much about towards the end. You don't know much about them, but what is told to you, what is told to the audience, the little bit you get, you love the characters. There is a particular storyline that these two characters, the meet cute characters, follow. There's this elderly gentleman who is looking for a record and the story really resolve, revolves around the meet cute and this elderly, elderly, elderly gentleman and his record and it's a beautiful little story and that's, that's pretty much what I would say about this anime it's a beautiful little anime you come away feeling uh, your, your heart grew two sizes that you feel good about watching this it's a it's a romantic true to life story with a little bit of a, a gut punch in places but it, it feels right the way they ended it do watch at the end of the credits as well because as they're showing you some imagery from the film there's a slight clip that shows you the shadow of our two characters and that'll give you an, an inclination as to what's happened uh, which I really appreciated. It was just a little nod to say hey just in case you wondered this is kind of what's happening and I, I feel like they've really found their footing uh, for this particular genre or well, this director has really knows what he's doing when it comes to this sort of slice of life perfectly balanced as Thanos would say you know from the, the voice acting to the storytelling. The pacing is weird and I think some people will have an issue with that it is slow there are some scenes that you just expect them to move over quickly but because they don't you really get to know those characters and how they live and how they move and what makes them take this sort of comedy or the relationship of um, 
the one protagonist who wears his uh, headphones with other characters on screen, the relationship with the parents, you know, and vice versa. You see these two worlds. And as they start combining, you start understanding who they are as people. The story unfolds to allow you to understand more about the other characters, which is a very clever way of editing the story or of multiple people into one real main storyline arc. Um, I thought it was cleverly done and I really appreciate it. It's definitely one that I think I'll go back. Normally when it's a really slow film, I would normally end up with these reviews saying, yeah, I don't know how often I will watch this film, but I can imagine watching it a couple of times just to feel good about myself, <laughs> going, yeah, that's that's put me in a better place, in the zone, in the zen zone. And I feel like if you need to be in the zen zone after watching a film or you're not in a good zone, I think after watching this, you probably will be. Um, it's an entertaining fun film with emotional feel and more depth than you're expecting well definitely than i was expecting the more we watched it the more we understood that it had more to say all right i'm gonna give this an a thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember live long and tuesday <laughs>